So this is part two of my homeschool decluttering video. So the first row I did was the, the chemistry, technology, um, philosophy section. And I actually did really well. I got all this room here. So um, part two, I'm going to do this next section. This is mostly math. We've got some miscellaneous books, a lot of art, classical music, dance, um, more puzzles and my cookbooks. So that is the next row. So I'm gonna pause the video and uh, take all these books off and put them on the table. Okay, so the books are on the table and I'm just gonna go through like my last video and just uh, figure out whether I'm going to keep them on the shelf, put them in storage or get rid of them or also the workbooks I'm gonna put in another place. So um, this is a workbook, so I'm gonna put, the, put it with workbooks. These are the best types of puzzles. Oh, I loved, I remember really enjoying these. Uh, when I was younger. Same with these. Um, I just wish we would do that again. This book is very complicated. This was this one I probably should take for myself and try to do them myself. Same thing. I, I bought this for myself. I should just either do the, do it or get rid of it. So these ones I'm going to put upstairs for myself. And then this is this is very odd. I don't even understand how this book works. So I'm going to just Take it upstairs as well and then yeah so I, I think I think all the puzzle books I'm gonna have to maybe work through myself and figure out if I, we need to keep okay Leonardo da Vinci this is a really cute book I keep that for now this book on Leonardo da Vinci oh so cute I keep oh this one we've read many times I think maybe did we I don't remember, but it's beautiful. Too many books on Leonardo da Vinci. We actually have a giant set of books that go through all the artists. It's the Getting to Know series. And I wish I could have enough room here to put that series up there. Georgia O'Keeffe. Really don't want to get rid of any of these books. Frida. I don't think we've ever read this, but it's so cute. Claude, this one we have read. This one we really enjoyed. Same thing with this, I think this series, the uh, Smart About Art books, we've read them all. Picasso. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I need to go through the art books again. I just can't. Maybe I should read them. Okay, this is more of an adult book. You know, this one I'm going to take upstairs and read this myself. Hmm. More Van Gogh. This one's really cute. I don't even know if you've ever read this. Oh, this one's good. This is um, Jackson Pollock. This one we've read. This is a really good kid's book. This is just a collection of her postcards with her art. Oh, I think I stuck a bunch of other art postcards in here. Might as well keep this one here. Diego Rivera, we like. So I think this is the only book we have on him. We really like this when we were studying him and his wife. Matisse. Again, really cute. This book we never used. This was an activity book. I feel like I need to read this. I have to read this myself, maybe. Oh, this book is so good. The Horse Museum. This is all about various art forms using the horse style. I love this book. No, this is a definite keep. Oh, again, this one, too. This one we loved. The discovery of the cave art. This is... Maya Lin, the architect of the Vietnam Memorial. Love this book. This is, oh, Joseph Albers. This was such a good book. I think I need to go do another run through these art books. This is the illustrator for Batman. So that's cool. Oh my God, this is such a good book. Horace Pippin, we love this one. Okay, these books I collected again, one by one, 13 artists. Yeah, this is a definite keep. Okay, I think I need to make a definite keep versus unsure pile. I'm gonna keep all these because they're so, 13 sculptures, 13 modern artists. How artists see the weather. This is a really cute book. I really like the way these books, I only have, I think there's a whole series, how artists see various things. And I wish I had all the books, but I only just have this one. I really like it. Osborne's children's art book. Hmm. This one might be a little... No, I think they're... 
actually a heritage. Oh, these are cards. These are oh, these are part of our homeschool curriculum. I forgot about these. These came with our um, with the the not the core knowledge foundation. This was like the third, fourth grade, fourth grade art cards that had the study questions on the back and the painting. I need to maybe put that with the study books and then the art book for children. I don't want to get rid of any of these so hard okay so this book it's called the volume this one I got from the publisher a couple of years ago and I read this with my son and it was really good it's all about space and lines and but we only read it once but we really enjoyed it we just I think we just need to read it again okay so the art books were a total failure um music love this book dancing hands about the girl who played for Abraham Lincoln, The Red Piano about the Cultural Revolution in China. Oh, I have these magazines from our music teacher. I don't know. I want to keep these. She's, she brought them over for a bit. My first classical musical book. Okay, so this one I think we can get rid of. This is so basic. We are, we've outgrown this. The Story of the Orchestra. I think we actually used that previous book and this one when we were studying classical music. This one I'll keep. Lin-Manuel Miranda. This book I never actually read. This, this is about a Russian ballet. That one, I guess we do need to read this one. This one I'm gonna put in storage. I just don't think we're gonna read that anytime soon or ever. Bunheads, I was trying to get my daughter interested in ballet and she never was, so. But this is a beautiful book. I'm going to keep it because I'm a ballerina. So more book on Misty Copeland. Misty Copeland. What is this? Michelle Duprince. Oh, we watched a documentary about her. She's so interesting. And then this is a surfer. I cannot say his name. Runner. Jesse Owens. This is the the, the boy who walked. My, my son loves this story. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, this is Sammy Lee, the diver. Turn of the Century. I forgot we had this one. I don't think we ever read it, but it's really interesting. These books we just love. The, the A Street Through Time, A City Through Time. So there definitely keeps About Time, The Story of Clocks. <sighs> this is one of those books where we should read this, but I don't know if we will. I don't know if I find this interesting enough. Okay, we're on to the math now. It's everything math book. This is a keep for middle school. I love these circumference books. I'm going to keep all of them. Mystery math, all about algebra. Hmm, I don't know if we like this one that much. I don't know. To think about that. Circumference, circumference, circumference. Mummy math, geometry. I feel like we might have outgrown this already, but it does go through the shapes really well circumference, and rapid math tricks. I think I'm going to put this with the workbooks. I don't think my kids are ever going to pick that up. My kids will not get rid of this book. This is something they're kind of obsessed with. I've been trying to get rid of this book forever. They don't want to do that. All about money. This is really cute. Can't get rid of that one. Another Betsy Maestra book. We love this author. She did such a great job in this book, all about currency and the history of currency. That's a definite keep. Coins. Hmm, this is interesting. I like this one. Oh, I lo we love this one. We've read this one so many times about these kids who are trying to save money. Money Madness. The Big Bus. This is another favorite, favorite book that the kids love. Um, Beast Academy. This is, a, this is a graphic novel for Beast Academy. I think I'm going to... Oh, you know, it's so cute. So cute. Oh, it's more of a book than a... God, I, yeah, I think it's more of a a book to read for them with a graphic novel. It's all about place value. You know what? I think we're done with place value. I think my kids know all about that, so I don't know if we need to keep that. Mm, working with fractions. This could be fun to read, but this this is really simple. This might be too simple for them because they've they've been doing fractions for a year now. Fractions. Okay, this one's a keep. Fraction action. Again, I think we're probably done with this book. Perm perimeter, area, volume, they always use a refresher. The Librarian Who Measured the Earth. I think we tried reading this and it was too complicated and we were having trouble following this. This is a good book. I really like this one. This is a keep. 
How much is a million? <laughs> this is kind of outdated, but it's it's fun. A million to measure. This is really cute, definitely. Oh, this was my book when I was little. This is like math, math magic. I love this book. This is definitely cute. And then the murderous maths of everything is British. Mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to read this. I'm going to put this in the in the storage section because that is a, that's a complicated book. Oh, maybe same thing with this perfectly perilous math. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is such a good book. You know, some of these I right away feel, yes, keep. This book was so good about Margaret Hamilton, Hidden Figures, Katherine Johnson, more Katherine Johnson, Katherine Johnson, Sophie Kowalewski. These are famous mathematicians, Paul Erdosh, Ray Montague, such an inspiration, Sophie Germain. These, all these mathematician books are so interesting. Fractions, again, might be way too easy. Way too easy. Earth Day Hooray, Place Value, Too Easy. Finding Unknowns. This is this is such a fun book. We just love this one. Same thing with Divide and Ride. Might just keep that for that. And then Probability. Hmm. The grade. The, what is a six and up? Level two. I think we might have outgrown those. And then these are, I don't know if we need to keep all of these, Multiplication Master. Some of these might, they've just, time travel. I feel like some of these, they've outgrown some of these mathematical properties, measurements, geometry. I just got this whole set, decimals, equations, graphing, statistics, denominators, positive and negative numbers, division, place value, fractions. Okay, I think I need to just figure out what they've outgrown. This is a difficult section with math, art, music. And then my cookbooks. You know, I, I've never actually cooked anything from this, but I bought it because I saw the movie. I think I should just read it. Just read it, learn something about cooking. Same thing with these two. I'm not on keto anymore. I was a couple years ago, but the recipes are so tasty. I definitely developed um, an appetite for keto food. And then this book we use all the time, The Joy of Cooking. Um, this is like our go-to book for anything we need to cook. And then this one I bought last year and I got kind of scared of it because it was so big and I haven't even opened it. So I probably should just go read these books and figure out um, which to keep. So I did a terrible job with this one. I'm going to maybe go through this one more time and then put it back on the shelf. Okay, so um, I put the books back and this is what it looks like so far sorry about these doors my husband's redoing our kitchen um so yeah i actually did pretty good i got all those out so i've made some room and then i just kind of went through the math books again to figure out which ones we're done with and also i put anything that i wasn't excited about like oh i've read this and i loved it um i put it in the storage section um because if if i'm not excited about the book then I don't see my kids being excited about it. And then I think these are all like workbook related. So I'm going to put those somewhere else. So we're doing good. Part two is done.